In this video, I make a coffee, I apply thermal paste, and I use a hammer. Well, this Pringles can... Alright, it's not going to touch. I'm going to have to get a hammer and bash this bottom bit out. You know what? That's... We're getting there, we're getting there. A bit more. My table is not sturdy whatsoever. Is that enough coverage? Yeah, that'll do. We'll just put a load of thermal paste on it. So now that that's done, uh, there is like the thinnest layer of plastic on here. So we need to get some sandpaper, rub that down. So we're touching bare metal with, well, m metal. So now that the Pringle can's been sanded, we've got sort of a flat bottom there. We're just going to shove some thermal paste on top of the existing thermal paste. And then, well, push it down. We should be found with thermal paste already on. We might have to use a bit more thermal paste than we normally would because there might be high spots in the Pringles can. This bit sticks out, so hopefully. All right, so we got a big bit here. And it's down. On. Okay, computer power's up. Let's get MSI after burner up. <laughs> when it says that number, it normally means it's over 100 degrees. You can't see the number I'm on about. When it says that, it means it's getting really hot. Let's try and put some water in it. Oh, it was working, the temperature's dropping. 73, 71. Wait, wait, we might, we might actually... Alright, so the Pringle can's about half full with water. And, oh, okay, yep, the temperature's climbing. 73, 75. We might have just made a kettle. 95, 90, okay. I don't know if you can see that, but there's bubbles forming. It looks like we're sticking it around 98 degrees. Let's try and fill it all the way. If we stop the stress test, let's see if the temperature just dramatically drops. Yeah, alright, temperature's dropping quite quickly. What we're going to do now is we're going to empty this, we're going to put like the slightest amount of water in. We're then going to put this lid back on and we're going to see, well, if, if we can make an unlimited water cooler. Pull this off, uh, there, there's like the slightest amount of water in there. What we're going to do now is we're going to mount it back on. We're going to run the stress test. Oh, okay, we, we're not even running it on the CPU temperatures. Alright, so now the stress test is running, we're going to see... If the water starts boiling, right, we're over 100 degrees, are you going to boil? Let's shove this lid on. There's some water starting to form on the lid, a few water droplets on there. Can't see the water boiling though. The CPU's a bit stressed out, it's a bit warm. Protect your cherished pictures. I don't think we need to do that at the moment. Look, there's steam. There's steam coming from there. I don't, I don't know how you can see that, but we are steaming. We've just made a kettle. You know what, let's see genuinely if we can make a cup of coffee out of this. So we're going to add more water. I reckon you can make a cup of coffee with that amount of water, can't you? Yeah. All right, let's shove the lid on. Let's turn this computer back on. All right, people, so we got the coffee, we got the milk, and we got the sugar. So let's run a CPU stress test and, well, hope we can boil some water. Now it's above 100 degrees. Uh, yeah, practically is. Oh, we're starting to get some condensation forming. So we are steamy on the inside of this thing now, hopefully. You know what? Genuinely, I'm surprised this is sort of working. We're at 97 degrees. This is on a stress test at full pelt. All right, so we shoved some more thermal paste on. Now we just need to place the Pringles can. There's capacitors there in the way. And now let's boot the computer back on. Oh, it is actually starting to boil slightly at the bottom, so I don't know how well you're going to see this. You can see the bubbles form in there where it's on the CPU, but it is also slightly boiling. So we're just going to leave this running for 10 minutes and, well, let's, let's just time lapse it. And if you want me to write your username on this MacBook Pro, then all you need to do is like, subscribe and comment cream. This has been running for about half an hour now, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the stress test. This should now come down to, well, whatever temperature the water's at. I mean, when I touch this, I'm not even joking, but that is quite hot. I can literally feel the heat from here. I'm assuming this, oh, all, all this, this top bit's disintegrating, but. So the bottom of this is actually really hot. All right, this one's sticking at about 90 degrees, so we'll just say it's about 90 degrees. Let's, oh yeah, look, I don't know if you can see that, but there's steam coming out of there. All right, let's get the coffee ready. All right, let's, let's pour the CPU water in. <laughs> that is actually hot water. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, the, the water is actually hot. It's <laughs> genuinely steaming. Now let's add the sugar. There we go. And now let's 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 do a bit of a taste test. 
Oh, yeah, no, we're definitely milk in there. It is warm, I'll give it that, it is warm. From what was once cold water. All right, this milk's probably cooled it down a bit. You know what? It's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's, it's about lukewarm coffee. So now we've tested the Pringles can, let's see how well the stock cooler performs. All right, so now that the computer's up and running, we need to, well, Change the film paste on this. We've actually got proper film paste this time. I mean, well, I say proper, it's like the cheapest one on eBay, but about that much, would you say? Yeah, just shove that on there. Now, there are, oh, where's temperature? CPU temperature, there you go. So with the stock cooler on, we've got Prime 95 up. It's not running yet. That's gonna be the CPU temperature. And we're gonna run it in, well, now, there you go, all right. I'm gonna apply slight pressure to the CPU cooler. It looks like it's staying around the 57 range, 58 maybe. To be fair, the cheap thermal paste is quite good because with toothpaste that I was using it, it was getting about 75. But we'll say that's about 60 degrees. So we can now stop this test. All right, now we can take this off and see how well it's spreaded. Oh, it's, it it. That is good, it's stuck. Oh, look at that, that's exactly how you want it. So should you use a Pringles can as a CPU cooler? Probably not, because um, they're no longer making metal-based ones. This is going to be cardboard in the future. And the other question is, should you use it as a kettle? Uh, probably not, because you get all these floaty bits in there from the top literally disintegrating. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you, people, for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And we'll see you on Friday. Transition.